Hi guys, today we are going to talk about keys. It is believed that archaeologists found the oldest key in the tomb of Pharaoh Ramses II the Great, 13th century BC. It was wooden, heavy and very simple with teeth from a pin lock. Soon after the invention the key became a kind of symbol of prestige. In ancient times the key that unlocked the bolt was often available only to rich people, and the more keys the man the head of the family had, the higher his status was. Cradle technology improved. The production of locks and with them keys has invention significantly since ancient Rome. It was the Romans who began to produce keys with grooves and tongues of various chips greatly increasing the secrecy of looking devices. It was quite difficult to fake such a key, because for this it was necessary to know of numbers of grooves, their location and configuration. The Roman lock consists of two parts, square lock case and a separate track with springs. The lock opens when the key is inserted through a narrow hole in the lock body, compression in the spring so that the shackle can be pulled out. Around the same time, the lock began to appear. In parallel with the development of technology, the keys became more and more miniature. They were no longer keys half a meter long. In ancient Rome, key rings appeared which had very small size. Later, this type of keys will be popular for a long time in the Middle Ages. The fall of Rome ensured the Roman locks spread far beyond the empire. Locks began to be widely used in Europe. Keys for Roman style locks in Europe has a less intricate configuration. The lock and key case exceeds in this form for almost a thousand years. In the 12th, 13th centuries they began to make elegant metal locks with flat bronze keys, open work and ornate. Such locks and keys served more as a decoration and again emphasized the prestige. In the Renaissance locks and keys, having adopted the elegance of their predecessors have significantly change it constructively. The fanciful forms of the lock stood at the service of secrecy. Often the cave hole could not be found behind the ornate dentils. There are also top secret locks that had to be opened with two, three or even five keys at once. Many locks were real works of art and in this case it was necessary to protect not only what was stored under the lock, but also the lock itself. Locks and keys improved, and in 1847 the Englishman Linus Hill invented and patented the pin lock. It was unlocking with an English type flat key, which as you probably know is still in use today. With the development of technology combination locks are popular in which the key is stored in the mind. This is a very brief history of the key, a functional and symbolic object. Today there are several types of keys, each of which has its own characteristics.